Welcome to a special 6% episode. I'm going to be pulling the trees off my back fence line with uh, my TJ. So without further ado, let's get to the shenanigans. Thanks for watching. Here we go. The arbor vitae's on my back fence line need to come down because they were in pretty rough shape. So I'm going to use my favorite tool. TJ, it's a forestry rig. Yeah, that's it. Overkill, thy name is 6% recycle. Let's do it. bit of carnage it's working out real well so far which is awesome I haven't even put it in four-wheel drive yet or actually hit the gas basically letting it idle oh at the end I'd have to put a little gas in this one I'll probably get one more tree down tonight back at it tomorrow one so far and I'm not saying much. I said to put it in four wheel drive, I don't want to hurt the grass. What happened to my tree? My arbor vitae? Oh, that's right, my Jeep got hungry. So it might take a little longer to get them out. Let's see how it goes. These shackle packets are actually bolted into the bumper, but it's bolted at top and bottom. There's quarter inch blade behind everything. So they're pretty stout considering this is a stock bumper. This big guys do have any move by hand, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I'll drag them and cut them up as I need to. Now let's get to this bad boy. Definitely wreaks a lot of havoc, but it's much better than me trying to do it by hand because unfortunately I cannot. My Jeep has many, many talents. Pulling down trees, dragging trees, looking cool. Good fun stuff. You can never have enough shackles. It ended up taking all day, but those four Rivardis are cut up and in the fire pit. Yeah, there's not much left of them. I couldn't get those two stumps into the pit, so they will be burned at a later date. Pull the two bigger trees in the center. They might be savable. I need to have a friend that knows trees to come out and look at them. Also, they're huge. They're gonna require an extra strap or two because this strap is just barely at that. Last tree was about all the straps got. 
up in terms of length. Yeah, a lot of roots. Just gonna keep pulling one or two a day and uh, burn them in the fire pit as I go. We're supposed to have rain tonight, so I might uh, have to stop this for a couple days. the two big ones this last little guy is kind of a knee make it actually fell over and started growing sideways so jeep is probably overkill for this but i'm not in the mood to dig it out watch this will be the hardest one to pull out of all of them so far or not and that's all of mine to do for the moment like i said i'll figure out what's going on with the other two hopefully i can save them if i can't they're coming down too Thanks for watching this kind of interesting episode. I'm going to be doing different things. The channel is not just going to be cars, not just going to be builds. It's going to be a little bit of everything. If you're looking for different types of content, uh, keep an eye out for the Michigan Make Series. I just did an interview today. The Michigan Motorsports Hall of Fame. That will be coming out approximately a month. So I have a lot to edit down. Other things are going to be coming as well, like the stuff with TJ that I did today. With, or well, You saw today. and There's the stumps and there's the rest of the stuff. We're under a pretty bad burn notice. Uh, weather's coming down, so I've had to wait this to get burned once everything gets cleaned up and once that's passed. I don't want to start any fires other than in this pit. Keep me on for new stuff. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Like and share and subscribe. See you later.